everybody. Welcome back. Today we are going to attempt my very first, I don't know what they're called. I've just been calling them a blossom pours um, or bottle, bo bottle bottom pours. So most of the ones you see on YouTube use a bottle bottom, something like this. And I've already got one prepped. It took me forever to remember to buy a soda so that I could prep one. So I've got one ready, however, before I had bought the bottle, the bottle of soda, um, I bought this little trinket thing. I thought I was going to feel bad because it was something from Etsy, but it's made in China. So I don't feel bad <laughs> about the fact that this is going to get ruined. I don't know if you can see that it's got these grooves in it though. So I think it will do a similar thing, but instead of having five blossoms, it will have one, two, three, four, five, ten blossoms. So, since we are painting over my first Galaxy Pour, I figured this would be a good time to experiment, um, especially on the topographical uh, um, part of the uh, Galaxy Pour. Um, to experiment with this one um, and we'll see if I decide I want to do uh, one of the other ones instead. To start though, let's go ahead and get our corners covered. I've got um, a wet paper towel ready because um, that's the re uh, the reverse dip part of things. This isn't quite a circle, this is an oval. So I apologize for that. And it's an off-center oval at that. Um, I think what we'll do is use white as my separator though. So I'll use black as my very first pour and then we'll do um, white for the layering. Um, my other colors that I'm using for my petals, um, for the main part, I'm using Brilliant Blue. I'm using this purple, I forget what it's called, <laughs> and Cerulean Blue. Um, and I figured I'm going to go purple, Brilliant Blue, Cerulean Blue. Let me see what that purple is called. Violet. Um, all of these are Artist Loft. And then, to do some touch-ups before I actually do the reverse dip, I'm going to use some Aqua Green and Sap Green, this one, uh, to make some indication of some petals. Um, I saw somebody do that before and I thought that was cool. So I'm kind of using a combination of things that I've seen on YouTube um, between, I can't remember who all does the the bottle bottoms. Um, I think Molly's Artistry, Fiona Art. I don't think I've seen Olga do a bottle bottom, uh, even though she probably has one up. I haven't seen it yet, I don't think. And, um, whoops, there's a cat hair in there. I think it got pulled off. I think we're good. Um, I forget what I was saying. Um, so there's different artists. I think I've seen uh, Jilly, and I can't keep straight which one's on which YouTube channel, uh, but there's Jilly and Julie, uh, two different artists. I think they've both done bottle bottoms that I've watched. Fiona Ten is the first one that I saw that adds some stuff to it. I'm actually going to bring that in some because I don't know how far the pouring will go. Bring it in, bring it in. And I left it, um, I left it on the cake platter because I imagine I'm going to have to spin it to get the paint to flatten out um, some. 
we will see This actually has some of the Galaxy Pour uh, leftovers in it, so I've got some of those other colors coming up. I don't think they will affect it too much, though. It's good to reuse. Spun that too fast. I think this will help flatten out the topography also, hopefully, because I need pieces I can practice um, doing the finishing on as well. So we will see. Whoops. we've got it everywhere. It's not the prettiest, but we've got it everywhere. I'm going to put some black down here in the middle. Spin that. Get it spread out a little. Actually, I might not have put enough. an oblong. At least I'm consistent with the oblong, huh? I need it to be about that thick. Alright. Can we find the middle? didn't it? It's kind of middle. We'll go with it. I'm going to do black first because that's my outer color. Whoops. Okay, let's go Cerulean. kind of working. 
This takes a bit longer. Sorry, guys. I think the soda bottle bottom is going to separate the colors a lot better. Might have been too fast on that. Um, still white. It's kind of keeping its shape, not as well, but kind of. Looks like I need to do at least one more layer to get all the canvas covered. What was my outer color? Can't remember. Very Mandela.
I'm just letting it flow, trying to be patient. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Oh, that wasn't the most graceful. All right. Now, for one of the things that Fiona does, although she rotates her flowers to get more petals in different directions, um, because this doesn't separate them as well. I'm not going to worry about that, but I am going to do this part of what she does. It's kind of morning glory-ish, isn't it? And don't worry, that part will fill in. I'm going to do the reverse and then I'll spin it just to smooth it out. Alright, and to get more color into the middle, she does this. Okay, let me spin it just a little bit. Um, before I reverse dip. Oops. It's not quite filling in. Add some color in there. Whoops, that's blue color. There we go. Let's do some of the sap green. Okay, now for the reverse part. She 
She's very patient and careful when she does this part, so hopefully I can do the same thing. And she's very good about patting it all down, making sure it all takes. Okay, now for the tricky part. Oh, I dripped some. But for a very first attempt, I'm quite proud of myself. That actually looks pretty cool. A little bit of the background is coming up there. Pop some of the colors. or some of the bubbles. I don't have any um, detergent in this, but I'm still getting some cells. Um, I imagine it's from the bubbles. And I realize I'm shaking the table and I'm sorry. I'm actually going to go ahead and put a little bit of um, black on this corner. Because um, it's good enough to practice finishing it up. Oops, come back here. Oops. All right. Let me bring you guys down for a closer look. So taking you in for a closer look. Hopefully the camera will focus pretty good. There we go. So I think all those bubbles, uh, all those cells, get my hand out of the way there, um, are because of the bubbles. But it's not bad.
All right. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.